hello guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today i hope you're all doing great a very big thank you to all my subscribers thank you guys so much for always coming back i appreciate you guys a lot and if you're new please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also remember to turn the notification bell this helps you get notified every single time i upload my weekly videos on tuesdays and thursdays 5 p.m today i'll be showing you um how to make um, a long sleeve and with a cuff and also to create a placket on this sleeve on the previous video this was the outfit that we made this was um, a gown shirt gown okay just a short shirt gown you can see so this was where we actually stopped with the collar itself okay so i'm going to link it up in the description box on how to actually make this this is quite um very very easy to understand okay yeah so today we'll be showing you how to create the sleeve here and um, of course this outfit will be good to go so setting this aside so i have this piece of fabric i'm going to be using to cut out the long sleeve so the length of this long sleeve um for me is 24 okay and um for the cuff it's going to have um a three inches band towards this um, wrist part it's going to be a three inches band so i'll be subtracting that three inches band from the 24 which makes it what 21 okay yeah but remember also that there's going to be a joining you take half inch to join it to the main dress and also half inch you're using to join it back to the band itself that's one inches band so 21 plus 1 that is 22 so i have exactly 22 and i'm going to work with that now so the first thing i'm going to do is to indicate um, the vertical lines so from here i'll just indicate um, the biceps at 7 and say the three quarter length say at um, 15. so i'll just um, get a straight line So, uh, mind you, this width is actually the round armhole. And the round armhole I'm working with is um, 20 divided by 2, that is 10. Okay, so I have exactly 10 here. So, we just add extra 1 inches of allowance, making it 11. Okay, so that is actually the width of what I cut out here. Yeah. So, and of course, at this end point, I will indicate the cap height for um, an average person. Calf size of four to five is okay. So I'll be making use of four inches. So these four inches at this point, I'm going to draw a slant line to this end point, like so. You can see this. So this slant line I've drawn, I will get what I have there and get the midpoint. So from here to here, I have about twelve. The midpoint here is six. Okay. So all I'll do is to come inwards at this point by say half of an inch and curve it this way. See the way I'm doing? And come out this way, say by half of an inch or 0.75. You can see. So we just created our sleeve. If you need more details on this, I have a tutorial on how to make um, a basic sleeve. It's quite easy to understand. So probably know how to achieve this. Okay. Yeah. So this is it. So I'll just come here now and impute um, the measurement. So for this calf size, the calf um, the biceps rather, the round um, for my round bicep is um, 14. If I divide by two, I have seven. So feel free to add your allowances, okay? Yeah, um, uh, might not want it so fitted. So just go ahead and add your allowances, which I've done that as well. So this is seven. Then for the three-quarter. Um, circumference what I have is 13 divided by 2 I have 6.5 then um, the round for the wrist part this area is 10 divided by 2 5 so I'm marking that so I'll just connect the lines so I'm going to go ahead now and add extra one inches or even half inches allowance for the sewing allowance so I just add one inches all the way So you can see this. So I'll go ahead and um, connect this to the armhole line. And um, this sleeve is ready. Okay, you can see this is quite straightforward. So all I need to do now is just to cut through this part like so. 
and also be sure to not share important to not share because this is actually the main point where um you'll be sewing your main measurement this one is just the allowance right so we are going to be sewing here okay yeah so I'll go ahead and cut measure this point just to be sure that it uh, matches up with what you have on your round armhole for the body of your dress so let's see what we have here so this is about 12.5 so if i bring this is my main address if i check what i have here So I also have um, 11.5 here, okay? Remember, I've actually sewed one, one inch already, okay? And when I'm fixing my sleeve, I'm probably going to lose it so I can, it can fit in properly. So we're good to go. So if, if, it's first, if it happens that um, it doesn't match up, that it is um, smaller than what you have on your midrace, then you might need to curve in a bit, okay? Yeah, just to achieve what you have. So we have this ready. Just trim this uh, sandwich. Okay, so you can see the sleeve is ready. So I like to notch this uh, center point. So what we're going to do now is to open this up to the right side. Okay, be sure to uh, match up the wrong side. the wrong side and our marking here is on the wrong side so you can see now the right side of the sleeve is facing me not the wrong side this is the right side so i'll come now this is one sleeve let's just work on one sleeve first so from um this notch line this is actually where the main um stitch is going to go through right so you just choose one point whether the left or the right side okay so from here now, I'm going to come inwards by 2.5 inches. This, you know, we're on the left side now. I'm marking 2.5 inches here. Okay, and this 2.5 inches, I'm going to go up by 4 inches. This is actually the slit. This is the point where we want to create the placket on the sleeve. So I'm just going up by 4 inch. You can see this. Then I would, um, each on this same line, I will just mark half of an inch on both sides and also mark a straight line. Can okay, you see this? So this center line here, I'm coming downwards by half of an inch. Okay, then I'm just making a slant at this edge here. So you see what I did? So there's nothing difficult here at all. I came in 2.5 inch from this notch line and I went up by 4 inch. So this is the length of my placket. Okay, then at this line, I went half of an inch on both sides. Okay, and just gave it a slant at five at um, 0 0.5 inch. So you can see this. Okay, so we're going to be setting this one aside. Remember, we started what from this left side. I don't know how the camera is facing, but like my camera usually faces them in um, the opposite direction. So you might be seeing this, you know, whichever way. Just know if you are using left side from here, then the next one you'll be going through the right side. If you're using right side from here, the next one you'll be going through the left side, okay? So here for me now was from my left side, I took my 2.5 inches. So the next sleeve now is going to be from my right side, okay? It mustn't be the same thing. So I'm just marking 2.5 inch from this notch line now. Just the same process, indicating the 2.5 inch, I'll also will go up by 4 inch, I'll mark a straight line, like so, 
Then the same way, I will take half of an inch on both sides and also mark a straight line. You can see. Then this center line, I came down half of an inch and just gave it a slant towards these two lines I created. So you can see this, okay? So if you bring it back together, just to confirm, you can see this one is from the left side to this place, and this one is from the right side to this place, okay? So that's it. So what I'm going to do now is to make a cut on this center line. I'm making a cut this way, this way, and this way, okay? So like so, just careful. Like this, and this way. So you should have this, you should have something like this. Okay? So I'm doing the same thing for this part. Remember, don't forget we are working on the right side. Very important. So that you don't get confused. I'm making my opening as well. Then you go this way and this way. And so you can see this. So that is it for this. So what we are going to do now is I'm going to now create a, the placket. So I need a piece of fabric. So I have this already. Okay. So this is like um, a two inches in width. And I just um, folded it, say, like almost 0 0.5 inch on both sides. And I made it fold like this. So you can see it this way. Okay, yeah. So this is what I'm going to use to create my placket. Just make, spread out the slit. Let it be in a straight form. Maybe facing me, you can see it's better like this. Let it be in a straight form like this. Okay, then you take your band and so tuck it in so that you sew on this line. It's as easy as that. So I'm just going to finish this up now and I'll come back to show you how it looks. So here I've done um, sewing up the placket. You can see this was the way it looks while you are sewing. You can see it on the straight form like so. So once you are done sewing, if you bring it up together, you see it this way. So all you need to do is just arrange it, overlap it over the other like so. Can you see this? Then at this edge, you bring it down. Then you stitch. You're going to be stitching it down at this edge, just a little bit, say like a three quarter inch or maybe even one inch. Okay, and stop there so you can have it in place. Okay, yeah. So I did that for the other part. So you can see, I've gone ahead to tack it at the edge. So you can see the placket is already there. All I need to do is to just trim um, off these excesses here. Okay, and um, this is ready. Yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to fold it now on the wrong side. Be folding it like so. And we'll be sewing, sewing it on that line. Okay, remember we gave a notch here. So we're going to be sewing it now all the way so that we can now attach um, the band. So I'll just go ahead and sew it all up. So here the two sleeves are ready. So you can see I'm going to help to turn it to the right side. You can see the placket on both sleeves. Okay, so what is left now is to attach the band to it. So in attaching the band, I'm going to make use of this piece of fabric. So remember we said the band was going to be um, 3 inches plus, um, of course, half inch I'll be using to sew it up. That's 3.5 and I'm going to head to iron it down. You can see the half inch has been ironed inwards, okay? And also apply uh, a bit of interfacing here.
So you can see how it all iron up and I've also stitched the side. So I stitch the side and then turn it to the front. So I have it this way. Okay, yeah, so this this is it. This is actually 3.5. I intentionally added the extra half of an inch. I just wanted it that way. So this is it. It's good to go for the two sleeves. So what I'm going to do now is to sew it all up. So um this 10 inches we have here is what we're supposed to also have here. But because of this um, placket we created, there's tendency that it will increase a bit, so it will not be exactly the 10 inches. Okay, so that's not an issue. So, but that extra little inch we have, you just make it pleat. So as you sew, attach your band from one point of the sleeve to the other. Towards um, this end of the placket, you just make that pleat. So that means you'll be making a pleat on the main fabric. Okay, so just to make it align. Okay, tucking it in at this end. Then I'll also take the other end and also tuck it in. So you can see. So the remaining, I will now sew. So, so as I am sewing. Towards the end of this placket, you can see, I can already see the excesses, okay? So what I'm going to do, just make it to be like 2 inches or 2.5 inches away from the end of this packet. Let the pleats be there. So that is it. So we'll just go ahead and sew it all the way. And um, this sleeve will be ready. So the only thing left now will be to attach your buttons, okay? Attach your button here. If you like, you can also do that here as well. And this is good to go. You can see how this looks. This is so beautiful. You can see this. So that is it, guys, on how to make this long sleeve with the cuff and also the placket. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Thank you so, so much to all my subscribers. If you like this video, please go ahead, do like it, share, and also if you've not subscribed, don't forget to do that as well. Thank you so much. Till I see you on the next video, bye for now.